welcome to part 2 of this password reset script. In part 1 we got up to um, entering the database here. So, and um, this is my users table. Um, basically don't need to know much about this. But what we're going to do is we're going to, if you go to the structure of your um, users table, if you come down to add one column at the end of table and click go, and basically this new column here that is going to be called um, I don't know pass reset and um, that's going to be set as an integer and put that as zero so if we come down click save so we have a new one on the end of pass reset and then back in Dreamweaver we need to create a MySQL query And that is going to be update and the table name um, set what we want to set pass reset and we want to set that to the um, the code where username is equal to username okay so now we've done everything and we've updated the database to let um, the database know that that user has requested a password reset and stored their unique code into the database. We can now go ahead and send the e send an email to the user. So using mail function uh, to subject and body. Okay, that's uh, email sent. Um, if we just do a little echo down here, um, something like check your email. Okay, so if I now um, upload that and if I just, oops refresh this page and if I enter a username that doesn't exist we get that username doesn't exist if I enter a username that does exist and a wrong password a wrong email sorry um, oh please enter an email address I don't know what I did there to get an email field but oh because I put input type as email um, you can have that if you want, but I'm going to stick to text and I forgot to name this up here. Um, so sorry about that and email upload again. Okay, so if I refresh, username does exist and a wrong email. Um, we get email is incorrect and if I enter the right details, submit and we get check your email. Now if I go down to my emails here, as you can see I have got an email password reset from the website name there and if I click on that we get um, a little link here that goes to forgotpass.php we get the code added on and the username that requested the password reset. I'm not going to click on that just yet. Um, also if we go into the database we can see now that if I go over to the admin side we get the code um, over there okay so now what we are going to do is um, let me just find where I'm up to okay so underneath require un underneath here um, we're just going to put if dollar underscore get code then we're going to say get the username which is dollar underscore get username so the username that requested it which is now in a get variable in the URL and the same with um, the code 
so we can just copy down change them to code okay now we need to create another query that is equal to mysql underscore query and this is select all from the table name um, where the username is equal to the get username okay so we're finding um, the user's information from when they clicked on the link in the email um, so now we can create a while loop it's pretty much the same as before Query, um, and in here, database code, and we're going to get the code from um, the database, which is pass reset. I think we named it as. Let me just have a check. Pass reset, yes. And we also need to get the database username. Um, username. There we go. And outside the while. Oops, there we go. Creating a one more if. So if the get username is equal to the database underscore username and the get code is equal to the database code. So if everything matches we are going to echo out here um, a form which is going to be form action that's where we're going to go now to pass underscore reset underscore complete dot php method is going to be post forward slash form um, enter a new password Going to break off onto a new line. Import type is a password name. It's going to be pass one. Uh, we can actually put new new pass in there. Um, we're going to break onto another line again. Re-enter your password break basically we can just copy that down password new pass one um but instead of having a break there we want to have a paragraph input type is submit value is equal to um update password okay so and also we need to add a hidden field into this you'll see why on the next page hidden oops name is going to be username and the value of this is going to be um the database username okay so if i upload that and um, if I now click on this link in the email, um, okay. Once it connects, taking its time. There we go. Oops, and we get that. Enter, enter your right. We shouldn't get that. Let me just have a quick check of the code here um, okay what we can put here then is if and finish off that if down there so if no um, dollar underscore get code so if I upload that now um, we shouldn't see 
that bit. There we go. Enter your password. Re-enter your password there. Now, I'm not going to enter that yet. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and onto this password reset. And um, what I'm going to do, this page is really simple. Um, and I'm going to carry this on into part uh, 3. So, join back in part 3 for how to create this page.